Well, we are going to check in with our street squad now to see what's happening in Swansea in support of those struggling with breast cancer. I could give any advice. I would just tell people to make sure they get their mammogram. In March of 2020, while hosting a mammogram bus at Swansea High School, guidance counselor Dana Lackey decided to get screened. The nurse at the time doing the mammogram spotted something that she noticed to be um, a sign of breast cancer. And she gave me, you know, a little heads up that I might have something um, that I might be getting a call for further assessment. On March 13th, the same day the school shut down because of the pandemic, Dana found out she had breast cancer. I was home quarantined and while I did, I had um, surgery um, on April 1st and then I started chemo um, at the end of April and then I started radiation at the end of September. So I'm about a year out of all treatments. This month, Dana is celebrating one year cancer free by going to the Swansea High School's Walk for Life this weekend. I think, first of all, for our community, it's um, it's very important because I want them to um, I want our students to see the community coming together to support a cause. Uh, plus, so many people in our community have been touched by breast, breast cancer. That means so much to me because I live in this community, I work in this community, and to know that they are supporting breast cancer awareness, and not just for me, but for all, all the survivors and all those who have, you know, passed, it is just um, great to know they're they're raising money for a worthy cause. The event starts at 10 a.m. Saturday morning at the Swansea High School track.